Welcome back to another episode of Misfortune. Right, let's uh, get out of Phantasmagoria, I guess, and into the boat. Swan Lake it is. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Oh, we already have a golden coin. Sweet. Oh, death is gonna take us as well. Nice. Shake this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got this sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... <laughs> just tossed it against his head. It's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's leave. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by pirates, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you'll know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. <laughs> I always, I always thought uh, it was pronounced Kraken instead of Kraken. Hmm. Ah, oh, Kraken, if you appear in front <laughs> of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Oh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties? I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, I don't have any fish on me. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. <laughs> Oh, seriously. Was that the fish from the bridge? <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge? Remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me? <laughs> On my mouth? Because he was in love with me. Because I saved him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. Oh. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiribado kudasuka! So you don't know, huh? You know, I've never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, uh, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Oh. oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look! We have arrived! Uh, where? It looks like we are stuck in the middle of the lake. Oh, no, I guess not. Uh, what is this place? <gasps> Check that out! It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you! Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Oh, God. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Yeah. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Oh god, what's coming? Hello? Uh, 
where am I going to hide? Uh, behind the rocks? Oh god. Oh damn it, my little foot got stuck. Oh no. Oh shit. It's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh. Smash at spacebar. Leave me alone. Oh, that was a... What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? No, it's you, Mr. Voice. I'm pretty sure it was the fox. No, it's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. Why why didn't Mr. Fox say anything? Don't make any sudden moves. <laughs> uh get up. Benjamin, you have to help help me. With your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Oh, he's gone again. Don't leave, Benjamin. Benjamin, my sweet Benjamin. Please, what was he? Stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. <laughs> Stop running, please. Keep running after Benjamin. I think he's trying to protect us. And I... Oh, no, no, watch out, watch out! Oh, my God. <gasps> What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. I know, I could have been more specific, like, there's a bear trap up ahead, stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. You don't like Mr. Fox's... You don't like Mr. Fox because he's trying to hunt you, don't you? Oh, this makes me think about Bubsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bubsy the teddy in the secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? Oh my about? god. About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Much better. <laughs> Uh, also, there's another one of these shit, and I don't think I took the tablet. Let's see what this one says. Huh, the piece is missing. Oh god, shit. What's this? It doesn't say anything. Oh, I don't have it. I fucking left it. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't really go back now. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? Uh, oh, this is... A <laughs> Personally, I don't, but I think she does. But if I'm afraid if I answer no, maybe something bad happens. So I just gotta play along, I think. Gotta go and say yes. 
I guess I can only hear you in my head, and I trust my own head, so yeah. That makes me so happy to hear, Miss Fortune. Well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Uh, yeah, of course, who isn't? I mean, uh, go say yes. Yes, I am. I don't know if I will like being dead. It's like too mysterious, you know? What if I can't bring my glitter? Well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Thank you, man. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure the fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. All right. Uh, hmm. Mr. Benjamin, are you here? Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> oh, is he the one making these uh, the sculptures? Maybe. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it. I ask him to share that prize with us, and everything will be fine. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. Wow, a video player. Fonsu! A console as well. Oh, in woods. Oh, is this what he was recording? Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> oh, he's making traps. Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. Oh no. Oh god. Maybe I can fix it. Happiness to the video player! <laughs> <laughs> Much better. <laughs> What a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna respect it. Shouldn't read people's diaries. I won't spy on Benjamin's personal stuff. Let's see here. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Death after life, learning how to be grey, communication, key to cooperation, the upsides of being a spirit animal, the fun stories of a boring man, when the hatred wants to be loved, the meaning of love, oh. Oh, I got some sweet, sweet tunes now. Oh, that's a photo of him. Look at that. Very Benjamin fancy. looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> what else is there? Oh! <gasps> Benjamin! I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Is that your diary? You want me to read it? Is that what you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Oh, his name is Morgo? Uh, what else does it say? Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here. Morgo play old trick many times now, but he make mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. See, I told you it was him. <laughs> victim codes, misfortune. It's nice codes. Morgo can't hear her say boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. 
scary. Morgo can have her say boss. Oh, okay. She must be rescued. You can't hide the children. Oh no. Uh follow Benjamin for sure. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Let's just go. Let's go, let's go. So Morgo is his name. Benjamin, where do you go? Oh god. Is this not his dungeon? Oh, what's this on the floor? Oh no, is this Benjamin? His hair. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? Uh, Benjamin? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Okay, there's a stool here. Maybe we can use it. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Such a clever little lady. Time to use my ninja skills. Perfect. <laughs> Shh, what a bad crack. <laughs> Be quiet. What? This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? <laughs> okay. So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Exactly. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Ugh. <laughs> huh, it's locked. Uh, where did Benjamin go? That's weird. There's a key there as well. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. Shall I get it? My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. Touch it. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Push the button. Alright then, I push the button. Oh god. That was easy. That's a really heavy door. Alright, time to find Benji. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> it's oh, fortunate. That was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Here we go. Get up, Miss Fortune. Come on. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. That's it, let's go, girl. Did you let that stop you? Hell no. Come on, get up. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. You go, girl. Get up. Because... You are a strong, independent woman. <laughs> because... You are awesome. Go kick some butts. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Obviously not this way, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Oh, can I pet him, please? <sighs> A baby deer, so sweet. Oh yes, finally some petting. <laughs> Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> At least this one didn't run away. Have some glitter. Oh Is no. Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin, are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm. Very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. 
Oh, uh, shit. There you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I trusted you. What are you talking about? Benjamin made it really clear with a picture he showed me. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop oh, that. Oh, no. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Oh, God. Freaking monster. Oh, that's not a good sign. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you said? <laughs> what deal? Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Is that Benjamin as a baby? <laughs> so cute. Oh, this, this is really mysterious. For students of the University of Center Sadist Technolo Technology. Protector course. Three step guides. Three step guide to exterminate parasitic beings from the beyond. Introduction. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside of constituted FREE, -E, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the ultra war, Thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the Beyonds. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality before the ultra war. The Beyond is still in the misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect it connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyonds. Oh, is this Mr. Voice? Is he a parasite? And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into Sender CD. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Sender CD. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protectors Parasite Case P. Papa Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step 2. Uh, need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead, but doesn't realize it. Uh, what? 3. The victim believes in. The illusions of the beyond are real, the victim sympathizes with the parasite. So yeah, that's what I said. Everything is an illusion apparently. The parasite. Checklist of parasites Morgo. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. It shapes shifts into a human animal creature. He quickly learns about the environment, language and culture are not an issue for these parasites. Large flocks of blackbirds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of his playing round. Um, it did seem very suspicious being a lots of crows around. Step 2. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can be, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces. 
to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step 3 immediately. That's why it keeps running away from us. Prepare for direct contact with... oh god. With the what? Now I will never know. With the parasites. Oh god. Alright. Okay, cool. Let's let's just carry. Let's just carry on. Well, a lot of information we just gathered about the parasites there. Well, where did Benjamin go? Oh, here he is. Oh, did he just left those for me to read? All right. I, think I guess so. I'll take the train back home. Look at that, aware. Yeah. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> Such a foxy boy. I look at the bench as well. Ban what? <laughs> That's okay, unrelated, I'll I guess. Wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Singing okay. a song. I'm gonna talk to myself. Fighting my time. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> Let's go home, finally. Hero.